Hi guys, well, I just got back from Copeland Dam, um, had a really nice um, five days out there. No fish landed, um, I knew Copeland would be difficult, it, you know, it's the sort of dam you really need to put your time and get to know what you're doing, which I didn't. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of fishing experience, but fishing for big Murray cod on impoundments is new to me, which I'm really loving because it gives me a chance to um, expand my knowledge around the sport. Um, this video will mainly be about, I'll put some photos in, I took some really nice photos in there, a few video clips. I did do a bit of a run through on the from the dam about the gear I was using, so I might add that in. Just some photos and a bit of a montage and some clips of the trip. Um, yeah, and then following up with that, um, oh, just some information about Copeland itself. I free camped there, it didn't cost me a cent. Um, there is a free camping area on the west or the eastern sorry, side of the of the dam, so check that out. You'll find it on Google Maps um, or just Google it. Nice spot, not many people around. I didn't have anyone within about 100 meters of me, which is good. Yeah, so check it out. Beautiful spot to camp if you're into skiing and that sort of thing take the family out there, water sports, it's, yeah, it's a nice, nice spot, and obviously to go out there fishing for that lifetime, fish for a lifetime, Murray Cod obviously has got a lot, a lot of allure for me and a lot of other fishermen too, so, yeah, if there's any questions, any, any of these um, videos, if there's any questions you'd like to ask me or information about this trip, Copeland, or any other videos that I do, please feel free to put something in the comments, like your question in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to do another short video um, after this one in the next week, just explaining um, the tactics and gear that I use for the Clary Hall Dam for impoundment bass. So that'll be coming up too. So yeah, hope you enjoy this clip. safely. Uh, it was a nice trip. I left at 6 o'clock this morning I think. Yeah it took me 7 or so hours to get out here. I did have a few stops and that along the way so that's pretty good. So yeah camp's all set up on the banks here. Um, I've just spent the last two or three hours checking gear and swapping out trebles. I'm using big swim baits and some of them that came, uh, the trebles that came with them really need to be changed out to some 3x4x by by strength, you know, good strong trebles is these cod will straighten them out. Um, so yeah, just been getting stuff ready. Um, the rod that I'm using this weekend, I only just bought this one, it's only a week old. It's made by Savage, I'm really quite happy with it. It's good good value for the price. It's a Black Savage um, 10 to 20 kilo swim bait rod. Um, it's a seven foot three rod. And this is a Savage Gear Finesse little spin, uh, little bait caster reel, so. And that's loaded up with 50 pound line. I've got 50 running 50 pound all the way through. 50 pound um, braid onto a 50 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. And I'll talk about the lures that we're using. Um, when I was watching, researching a lot of the guys that have fish coped in a lot, they're all using the, um, the jackal gantrels um, and the gigantrels. I tried as much as I could to try and get um, those lures. They seem to be running short of them. So they did have a gigantrel at Ballon on the way through, but it was just a gnarly colour. Um, yeah, I won't go into it, but yeah, pretty hectic, bright colour. So yeah, this is a these are the three swim baits I've settled for for the weekend. And this one here looks quite. I've been trying these out too. This one's this one swims really well. Um, it's a Biowa Seven. Uh, this little jointed swim bait, so it's got joints all the way through. And it has a really lively action, so seven inch swim bait. We've got the Zeric live swim bait, this one here. Pretty handy little lure, it's obviously it's like a soft plastic material. Um, only the one treble underneath. I think about might put a stinger off here maybe later on. 
yeah, it's got two tow points, so you can tie it on, on the top one here if you want it to go down and, and fish it deeper. It's got a bit of weight in the head. Or you can tie it to this one up the front here and actually you can fish it like a, you know, like a surface lure almost, you know, um, like a wake bait. It's pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that one. And this is an interesting one. Um, this one's made by Chase Baits and it's a Chase Baits prop duster. Um, so yeah, interesting. It's got a little, a little um, blade that spins in the middle there and it's got a bit of a rattle and so yeah, that's my selection. The good thing about this lot is I can cover, you know, varying depths of water. You know, this biowire, it's a Japanese lure. It's, it's really heavy in the head. So if I'm probably fishing any deeper than 10 meters, I reckon I'll be using this one. Um, so we'll get down quick and then I can throw on the prop duster. It's a, um, a little bit lighter, I'll get down. And also the, um, the Zeric will get down there too. So we'll see how it goes. I've got a feeling these fish are going to be sitting in deep water. Um, but I don't know. I don't know anything about cod fishing. But I'm going to start deep first when the sun's up. And then I'll probably start fishing shallower as the sun sets and comes into night time. So fingers crossed. I'm here for a week. But I may get some um, footage of a few cod. And I'm gonna, I've got a few little little like jigs for um, yellow belly too. So I might do some vertical jigging for them. But... Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but fingers crossed. Yes, yeah, take a look at this place. It is absolutely beautiful. Something about these freshwater impoundments with the granite and this standing trees are just very fishy. Yeah, there's been a few things come through on the sander few arches and stuff a few bit of bait had a bit of a cast at them but yeah nothing yet so that's all right it's the first afternoon what do you reckon sam yeah, what do you reckon it's cool fun out in the clock or what <laughs> yeah no it's beautiful sun setting over the hill there amazing stuff mm -hmm.